In the previous video, we looked at how to set or adjust the Project North location using the Project Preferences we see here, Set Project North, and also adjust the Project Location. Now, the advantage, we talked about the idea of having a referenced object, which is a North Point, which actually adjusts automatically to that. So we see that we've already changed in Project Preferences the Project Location. We see that North is adjusted in our model to 21 degrees. And there are two objects in ARCHICAD, either the survey point or this one, the north symbol, that both have the ability to adjust to this automated system. So I'll go into the settings individually. We'll go down to the symbol style. And you can see that we can change the visual effect of this. There's quite a few options available. So based on your style preferences. And we're just going to choose the Follow Project North option. And we're going to see that that's automatically going to rotate around to match. This again is just a 2D model. So this was used to create the, um, the orientation of the north. But in terms of a, an automated one or a digital method, then this will automatically adjust for us and we can see that this one will do the same thing. So follow Project North. Now the problem with this one is, just like everything I guess, there is the ability to have a lot more settings. Now we could move that down here. So that's going to make that clearer, easier to read. X, Y, Z. It's making that a little bit messy. Now with this Project North, we can do the same thing. The great thing about a pink node means that we can just stretch it manually or move it around. Now the north is locked to the axis, obviously, so it's um, located in terms of its orientation to north, but it means it's not necessarily going to fit our drawings very well. Now where would we want to put this? There's a couple options, probably not on a floor plan. We might leave it as a floor plan, maybe have a copy of it on the floor plan, but realistically the best place for that is going to be in our layouts. Now we could put this individually on each layout, or we could put this on our master layout. I've already got one here, we see that this one's a two-dimensional one. Let's move this away for now. And paste this one here. And of course we can resize this, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, Lex instead, the reason why that happened is it's turned it into a 2D document. One of the things we're talking about is making it a referenced drawing. Now the problem with placing it on the layout is it wasn't working. Let's just go to the layout and see if we can place it there, otherwise we'll have to look at another option. So if I close down my tools, We'll go back to this one here, choose North Point. It's imported that this time as a, a 3D tool or a object, and that will automatically adjust. So copying and paste didn't work, we had to re-import it. And of course we can reduce the size as need be. Now, what's the advantage of having this on the master? All right. I don't love the, the north, but it'll do for now. The N, I should say, in its orientation. So the advantage of having this on the master layout, let's just delete this one now, is that it will be visible on every page site plan, floor plans, roof plans. So that's fantastic. But the problem with having it in the master is it will also be visible on all of the other pages that use the same master, of course. Things like sections and elevations. And we shouldn't really have a north point on sections, elevations, or things that don't have a real north orientation. Details, 3D views. So therefore, how do we do this? There's a few options, and it's all about being consistent. So we could either use a, a fill, and we could cover it, a white fill. I'm using a fill here without an outside 
edge without a, a bounding box so that we could cover that, we could hide that on all of the pages that we don't want to see a north point. But it's just a little bit problematic because we're creating something which is hiding other information and potentially if these notes were to change or whatever else I was going to do, maybe the title block changed positions, uh, then that box would be in the wrong place. So the other option of course, rather than using a cover fill to hide the ones that we don't want, would be to only place it where we want it. So let's see if this will work. We're going to cut from here and instead of being on our master layout, we're instead going to place it only on the layouts that we want it to exist. Yep, okay, that kept it as an object this time, so that's good. And we're just going to copy and paste on each of our... So I'm using uh, keyboard shortcuts, which I say that I don't do. Right-click, paste, for your benefit. And therefore, we're not going to paste it onto sections. We're only going to have it on the floor plan. Now, again, the advantage of this system is that because it is an automated object, if I was to go into my project preferences and change my... It's not going to work here. Yeah, I could change it here. That's fine. Project location, and I change that to 30 degrees. That's automatically going to update on each of these drawings. Let's make that a little bit more obvious so it's a, a bit more identifiable. Option, project preferences, project location. Let's make that 90. So we see that that's automatically updated on each of these pages. But of course it's still an object and we could change the settings independently for each one of these. So I'm not going to say there's a right way or a wrong way. Like I said, you could do this in the master so it's only placed once and then you need to hide it on the drawings where you shouldn't be seeing a north point or you could place this individually or independently on every layout where you want to see a north point but then of course you may need to change settings if you want to on each individual one even though the orientation of it will automatically update each time. Now the only other option which I discussed in the beginning of this video which we haven't yet looked at is the idea of it not being on the master or being on the individual pages but being a referenced drawing. So to do that what we might want to do is to create an independent place for this to go. So we could use a worksheet or a detail Follow North Point. And then once we've created a worksheet, we can save that as a saved view. Where am I going to put this? Uh, I, I don't have a folder for worksheets at the moment. I'll just create a new one. Now, worksheets is, a, I guess, a name that's a little bit foreign to the way that I've worked in the past. So it's not a, a term that I use a lot. I could call it referenced drawings or references or something like that. It doesn't really matter to be honest. Using worksheets is consistent with ArchiCAD of course so it's probably best to to learn it myself rather than changing the name and, and obscuring it. We're going to save this as a current view. Now the scale is not really important but the way that imp imports is important so we'll look at that in a minute. Create North Point. I called it that so that's why it's called it that there. Now what I can do just like before is go to my individual drawings and now import that referenced view. Now that's created a very large page and just like when we import a uh, floor plan or an elevation or a section it's going to give a frame and a title which we don't really want in this case. I'm going to remove the title and I'm going to reduce the frame down so it's only as big as we need it to be. Now there's different options with this because scale really doesn't matter. So we see that this is too big. So I could go in and change the scale of the object or I could go in 
to the settings and just reduce the size, the proportion of the object. Let's look at both of those options just to be thorough. Size and appearance, it's too big at the moment, isn't it? So we could just reduce its magnification. So we could make that 50%. So that'll make it smaller. Or alternatively, we could leave that the way that is 100%. And then we could open the settings, open source view. That was right click. And then of course we could change the size of it. Reduce the size here, 10. I think I made that four, move that north letter a bit closer, go back to our place that will automatically update and then I can reduce that box again. So that's probably the better way of working. It's always best if we try to stick with the original scale rather than mucking around with magnification. Uh, that can tend to change line thicknesses and make things not look accurate the way that we represent them. And of course, if we're inconsistent with how we do that through pages, that's going to create a problem as well. So this is creating a referenced drawing of an automated object. So we're definitely becoming pretty um, clever with how we're using information to ensure that it's consistent throughout. So the advantage of this is that we therefore are placing it, just like before, on each of the individual layouts this time rather than the master. Uh, but the big benefit with what we're doing now, thinking, thinking, is that if we make any changes to the original reference drawing, and of course this is what Archicad's based on, not just the orientation, so following the north point, but if I change the font size, that's now going to update on all of these drawings because they're all referenced linked drawings. So there you go. Now we've got a lot of different methods, and again, there's a lot of different ways. None of them is necessarily the right or the wrong way. There's just different options of how you can do things. This is probably maybe the best because it's probably going to allow for um, the less least amount of user error uh, in, in terms of when making one change, and that's creating a multiple impact on multiple drawings rather than having to redo the same work multiple times. And of course we can do that with our title block as well. We're going to have a look in a next um, one of the next videos of how we can create our title block as a reference drawing and elements of the title block as reference drawings, whether they're all part of one or multiple reference drawings. We'll, we'll talk about that in a later video.